Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you all for a minute about lamination. Um, this is one thing that frustrates me more than anything, but if you do it right, you know, it's really not too bad. So, um, this is my setup. I don't know how other people do it. Um, I don't have a huge big table with one of those uh, expensive, you know, expensive $20,000 tables to help out with all this. Um, so I built this little setup to hold my roll. Have my cutter right here, it's a 24 inch cutter. It would be nice to have a bigger one, but right now this is what I have. So I kind of limit the, the sheets that I use to, on the printed space to 24 inches. Slide it through there. Right now I need a 24 inch sheet. Hold the ruler on there, on the edge of it. There, 24 inches. And I want to cut some off the side so it doesn't accidentally overhang the side of the vinyl. My printed area doesn't go all the way to the side. So that's how I cut them. So, I'm going to laminate. I like to have the sheet I'm using ready right over here, and then my laminate next to it. What I do is I lay it upside down. The edge that I'm going to lay down first, I go ahead and cut. And I'm going to cut this a very, very thin line here, okay? Let's see if y'all can think. see this. It's probably, it's less than half of an inch is the way that I usually do it. The key thing is trying to do it just far enough that you don't go through the laminate but it's far enough that you get a good clean cut it's not easy to do it just takes some practice and even then half the time i don't get it just right but it's certainly not perfect right now but it's gonna work sometimes you have to come from the other side and you get a cleaner edge okay now, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but there's just about, I don't know, more than a quarter of an inch sticking out, but not much, between a quarter and a half, probably. Let's see if y'all can see that. Let's see, the amount of edge sticking out is not much okay so okay so what I do is pull the sheet down now get a nice flat surface to stick it on through here I'm gonna lay my sheet on top being careful to hold the edge the sticky edge up Making sure I line everything up. Now I'm gonna lay it down just completely flat. I wanna hold this edge good and flat to make sure that it's not bowed anywhere. And then I'm gonna wipe it down. Wipe it down this way. I'm gonna take my hand across. I'm gonna wipe it down this direction. I'm gonna fill it in in the middle. It's the way I do it. I'm not telling y'all it's the right way. This is the way I do it. It's what works for me. A little bit of bubbles on the end right there. I'm going to push them out. All right. So it's not bowed up. When I lay it down, it's laying flat. This side isn't bowed up, whereas this side is laying flat or anything like that. Everything's pretty consistent. So it should go through the laminator pretty good. So that's the laminator. Honestly, it's kind of the tricky part. Sorry, I'll get to see the messy side of the garage now. So I'm going to start to roll it in there. And what I usually like to do... Is okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen these up to where they're not even contacting. I'm gonna 
lower them at the same time until I feel both of them slightly start to contact. And then I'm just gonna go just the slightest bit more to give it just the slightest bit of tension. The less the tension, the better, but it has to have a certain amount of tension or it's, it's gonna leave bubbles like crazy. If it, it and it can loosen up between doing like three or four sheets it can loosen up and then all of a sudden one sheet it'll be loose on one side now you hold it up in the middle and just roll it through you don't have to roll it through at any specific speed but you don't want to let you don't want to roll it so fast that it catches the backing paper and gets it in there because then it's going to leave a little air pocket line these came out real good came out real good so very minimal little air bubbles and the ones that are in there, um, it's not really anything you can do anything about. It's what they call silver and it's going to come out once you let it sit for just a little bit. And I have a little tool that I push some of them out if they're kind of bigger. Um, as long as the, there's not much air in there, they'll lay flat. But these came out good. I don't think I'm going to have to even mess with any of these. So on to the next sheet.